All right, Pisces, let's do another reading. Let's see, what is the T for the Pisces? Keep in mind that these messages may or may not resonate with you. Take what fits, leave the rest, or leave it for who else it does resonate with. All right, so Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest and the most high, you are welcome into this reading for the sign of Pisces. Let's see. Messages, please, for Pisces. What is the T? Single jumping cards only. We'll be taken in my reading, Spirit. You already know how we roll up in this boot. Okay? So, wasting time in the nightmares, insomnia, anxiety. So, moving on. Thank you, next. Oh. Um, impersonator wants to be like you. Acts like, dresses like you, copies you. No facts, never has the facts and makes shit up. So someone here who may be trying to impersonate you, who could be your your wannabe man or woman, okay, your replacement. <laughs> really? That's what I just said. Okay, someone here, your replacement, okay, who always, like, could just be a liar, all right? This may be someone who you've moved on from, um, or you may have moved on. Thank you, next. What did I see? Nightmares, insomnia, and wasting time. So I just did a reading for Pisces and their love interest. And that was kind of the energy. It was like someone here is no longer waiting because they're manifesting other shit in their life. And there was someone else who had like anxiety, insomnia, a lot of pain, depression, boredom, discontent in their life that they were dealing with. So I don't know if someone moved on with this impersonator. Um... And this is someone who, you know, may lie, may make shit up, never has the facts. Or, you know, unbothered. You got romantic love affair. So either either you or someone else here is unbothered in this situation. Someone, uh, romantic love affair. Sex fix, secret lover, F buddy. Okay, so someone may be just having... Effie, Effie time, <laughs> humpy time. Today hump day, today is hump day. Oh shit. All right, uh, wolf in sheep's clothing. I kept seeing that, that must have wanted to come out. So I don't know if someone here is sleeping with someone who looks like you, who dresses like you, acts like you. Um, <laughs> to be honest, I don't feel like you give a fuck. Uh, yeah, someone may have gotten themselves mixed up with some type of obsessive lover. This could be someone who hates on your spirituality. Um, I don't know if someone here... You could even be ha having family issues with someone. Like, say if you have a family with someone or family problems, you know, with cousins, brothers, sisters, aunts, whatever. Maybe someone... There's a difference in beliefs, okay, with the spiritual hater. Hates on your spirituality, your light, your magic, your power. Or this is someone's obsessive lover who be hating on hating on your light. Like someone who never has the facts, they make shit up about you. They could be like, oh, Pisces is dark. Pisces is Pisces is doing this. Pisces is that. And you're just like, whatever. Like, whatever, bitch. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Okay. This could be someone who either you've had a romantic fling with or someone who's having a romantic fling with someone else. This could be someone who pretends to be... This is like a wolf in sheep's clothing. Someone here could pretend to be someone that they're not. Or tend to be all cute and cuddly and soft like a sheep, but they're really a wolf. Okay. Is that how you say that? Wolf? This sounds weird. Alright, what else? Yeah, that obsessive lover is sure wanting to show itself. Okay. Uh, yeah, fed up. So I feel like either you Pisces or someone else. Someone here in this situation is fed up. Just like, I don't want to hear shit. I don't want to deal with this i'm moving on thank you next afanisha sayonara kick rocks duels and someone may be spying stalking watching obsessed and someone's seeing that you're unbothered it's falling below unbothered so someone here is like stalking watching looking obsessed and someone's just like yeah it's cool whatever Don't move it on. All right. One more. Or not one more, but one for this impersonator. 
boss bitch. I'm crying over you. Sad hurt. Okay, so someone here, I feel like, got with someone who looked like you, acted like you, men or women, doesn't matter. Now someone's crying over somebody because either someone's realizing that you're a boss bitch or you're realizing someone else is a boss bitch or, um, I don't know, someone's crying, hurt, upset, sad because they're realizing they got with the fake, with the fraud, they got with someone who may have looked a certain way. So and this, this to me is giving me energy if someone thought that they could replace you, but now they're hurt because, and they're stalking and they're watching you and seeing that you're unbothered. You're either this boss bitch or this boss dude, you're stable, you're multifaceted, you run your own business, you're doing good. Now someone's crying because they got with someone who they thought could compare to you, but they didn't. Okay. Show me facts. No facts never has facts make shit up. Child neglect. Woo. Okay, so someone here could be saying that someone here, um, child neglect, bad parenting, scared of, hates parent, etc. Someone here may never have the facts. Someone may be saying that someone's doing some child neglect or something to that nature. But this person never has the facts. They make shit up all the time. Someone could even be like yelling at their children or um, this could be someone who also this. OK, so this could also be somebody who was neglected as a child themselves. That's sad. Um, bad parenting, scared of or hates parent. I don't know if this is someone who hates their parent. This could be someone who just makes shit up because they're scared of like what their parent or something will say. Like, so someone who's used to lying or fabricating a truth, like never has the facts or makes shit up just because it's like they could have been neglected as a child. They may have had to like, how do you say it? Like scheme their, um, there's a Taylor Swift song when she says that, um, I've been scheming ever since I was a child. So she was basically saying, like, forgive me for trying to, like, scheme my way through my adulthood, you know, but I've always had to scheme my way through my childhood. There's a song. If any of you guys know what song I'm talking about, drop it in the comments, but uh, it's one of her newer songs. Uh, anyways, um, yeah, so maybe this is someone who also neglects their own children. They may just make shit up. They may lie. They don't have the facts. Or this could be to someone who, yeah, neglects their own children because maybe they feel neglected or something. Or they may always say that they're going to be there, but they they're not. Okay. Never has the facts. Make shit up. Show me this romantic love affair. This has given me like unhealed childhood trauma wounds or some shit ch uh, chasing. So romantic love affair, sex fix, secret lover, f buddy. So someone may be chasing someone uh, just for the sex. Okay. Just for the intimacy. Or someone may always be chasing the next romantic love, of love affair. Chasing. I don't fucking know. All right. Show me this wolf in sheep's clothing. Kissing ass. Yeah, someone who... Someone may, you know, come in with some type of cute shine. Your light irritates their demons. Yeah, this is someone who, like... This person may come in and kiss your ass, but but on the low low, like, you irritate the fuck out of this person. Like, this person may come in, like, kissing your ass or trying to be all sweet and nice, like, they like you and shit, but really, you fucking irritate them. So it's like, mm, you know, they come in like they're... They're cute little lamb chop, but then they're really a wolf. It's like, oh, I can't stand that bitch, you know? It's like they want to attack you. This is possibly someone who just wants SEX or whatever. I don't know. Give me one more on this child neglect. Threatening, intimidated, bothered. Wow. So someone may feel threatened by their own parent, or this person could have been threatened as a child, or this person may... Threaten or, in, like, hmm, how do I read this? Child neglect. 
Someone could even be, this could also be, okay, going back to the first storyline I was trying to say earlier, and I think I got sidetracked, but this could also be somebody who's threatening somebody, like, and not saying with the gun, minus the gun, because that's just fucking crazy and extreme, but this could be someone who's threatening somebody, like, oh, they're going to report somebody for bad parenting, and da-da-da-da-da, but this is ultimately someone who just fucking is full of shit, makes shit up, and they lie, like, is someone that will say anything, do anything, because maybe they're bothered by you or they're threatened by you. I see why the hell you moved on. There's someone who just hates on your happiness and something's just played out. Like, you know, I feel like you're dodging this person because you realize that this person just ain't shit. Caught a case. Dirt digging. Someone may be trying to look into someone's medical records as well. I feel like you don't give a fuck because some same shit different day. Someone ain't going to find shit or someone ain't going to find what they're looking for. Someone may even be trying to say like, oh, you gave this person something or say if someone caught a case, they may be trying to say that you gave it to them looking for dirt or vice versa. Um, but if this person's having like secret love affairs and F buddies and shit like that, then be careful. I wouldn't be having any romantic love affairs with that, like, I don't know, if you know that this is just something on a whim, be careful because that could be a warning for someone. Someone may have an STD and then give it to you and try to say you gave it to them or some shit like that. When really they got it from someone else who they were sleeping with or something. That's that's the oldest fucking shit in the book. Anyways, um, yeah, this is someone who's a wolf in sheep's clothing. They're not what they appear to be. This person will make shit up do anything dramatic and I feel like it's ultimately because they're mad because they got was like this person tried to replace you but they couldn't replace you because you're a boss boss dude now they're fucking crying now they're fucking hurt now they're sad mm -hmm. all right anyways or the roles are reversed this could be you know someone doing this to you so um yeah what cards do I want to pull? Let's get three cards from here in the situation spirit. What else do you want to tell Pisces in regards to this reading? What else for Pisces? Not the cross watcher, for Pisces. I like you. You got coffin. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. So something here is ending. Um, with this I like you card, someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun flirt, wanting to date in the phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth and changed mind. So some of you guys have grown, you've transformed, you're deciding to end a situation and look for something new. You could be talking to someone new, you may be flirting with someone new, okay? Um, you're ready to start a new phase, you've been through some type of major life transition, love call, someone expresses love. A message of love, thinking of you, letting letting you know. And then we got the axe, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment, and soulmates in the runner, the sword and the rose. So this could be a runner chaser dynamic between you and someone else. This could be a soulmate connection, but it's like it's always that push and pull with this. And you may be deciding to axe this shit, like stop the fucking pattern. Like I'm not doing this shit anymore. Okay. Next time you run, you're going to keep on running. Oops. All right, so I'm going to leave this reading here. If it resonates, let me know. Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.